Oh my goodness, it's 35 degrees. That's ridiculous. Oh no. I've got the Jenny running, but it's definitely time to go ahead and turn on the furnace and just make sure that still works. And we'll get this up to, let's just say 60. It says room temp here is 44, 50 in the back. And that's with the fire going. You get a little bit of that uh, dusty burn off smell out of the furnace. Yep. How are you guys enjoying your new your new beds, huh? Yeah? You like new bed? Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, you already uh, made yourself right at home. Turn the light on here. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Best girl. Best dogs anybody could ask for, huh? Man's best friend. Yeah. Yeah, so you guys don't have issues with being cold. They can run out in the <laughs> the icy grass. They don't mind. For me, anything below really 40 degrees is just like, I'm done. Like, it's too cold. <laughs> Not actually that bad, but oh man. It, but everything's like glistening. Yeah, once it gets frosty, like, that's about the line. Um, and and so today, I think, I'm going to see how long this lasts me. Uh, run the furnace for a little bit. Uh, might have to go refill propane soon, but uh, maybe not today. And then uh, Emma's already broken out her winter coat, and she's off to work. We've got two blankets in here. We washed it. and It's like peeling. It's like peeling. Um, and then we've got this quilt. And that did us all right. It is on the line of being uh too <laughs> too freaking cold still but oh man i feel like i was might have been a little fluffier last year i don't know it's funny how that works i just have to get a something a little less fluffy but yeah and these guys smell a lot better don't you oh night and day difference guys yesterday was a really big mail day and so uh among plenty of other things uh, i went ahead and searched Amazon Vine for uh, two products, and we like doing reviews anyways through these videos, but I'll also throw in an Amazon review. One of them is one set of headlights. These are LED headlights, um, and we're gonna find out together, um, really, how hard are they to install, and are they worth it? And then actually a second set of headlights. So one set, I don't know which one yet, uh, but one set will be going to the top uh, bulbs one to the bottom they're supposed to both be i want to say of oh, course they don't mark it on here i want to say they're 6500 kelvin um i didn't really want a blue light uh, i like a little bit warmer but these are still on the cool side because it turns out kelvin is not like a universal like like one camera for example might have 6500 kelvin and it's a lot more blue compared to say the gopro or whatever right um or your phone so uh, I'll be testing those out and see if it's really worth it because the head the headlights that come with this ring, they suck. One of the lenses on the on the bottom fog lamps also have a, a cracked lens. Um, so yeah, I need to adjust that one again. Pop these guys in. I don't think it'll be a hard upgrade. But... It's a little frosty out here. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Ooh. Yeah, just a little bit. I think it's so cool how foggy it gets out here. Like it gets pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty dang foggy on this field. It's kind of neat watching the, yeah, watching the fog roll away, come and go. It's so neat. Oh man. Whew. Oh, even the. Uh, <laughs> Even the spider webs out here. Wow. This is the vent for the uh, propane, and ooh, feels good out here. <laughs> it's so cold. Ooh. Hopefully you can't tell too much, but I'm ooh, I'm shivering. Brrr. There was another unexpected package yesterday with a note. It said, uh, "Joel and Emma, love your channel. I was shocked to hear you haven't watched the Goonies." since you live in the Pacific Northwest and drive through Oregon. Here's a copy. Enjoy. Keep up the great work. 
from Game Time Brian, and he's got a, uh, a YouTube channel as well. I believe he does like sports stuff. He sent a copy of the Goonies. <laughs> isn't that a, isn't that funny? Yeah, we've uh, we've never seen it. We were just in Astoria, uh, and I saw a comment from him. He goes, I can't believe you haven't seen the Goonies if you. <laughs> driving through you didn't see the Goonies house so uh, we're gonna have to watch this uh, yeah I've never I've never seen it uh, I think it's like a <laughs> bunch of kids like going on an adventure or something like that we'll be watching that uh, probably tonight and uh, yeah thank you uh, Brian that was that was really kind so really genuinely uh, uh, I was I was hoping folks would send like letters or something i don't know it's something kind of fun to like read on camera no you guys are you're sending uh little letters and uh gifts thank you Whew, it's a beautiful day out yeah look at that bailey's over here warming up oh whew. the trees over here refuse to lose their uh their luster i appreciate that oh man Oh, that's beautiful. It would appear that Sam and Colt don't love their food yet. The uh, Hills Science Diet, I guess, or whatever they're calling this stuff. Um, I think if you throw diet on the end of the title, it <laughs> sounds fancier. Yeah, I'm noticing I got some of it wet, and then uh, I noticed they pushed a lot of the dry stuff out, so... I need to wipe this down. There's a lot of dog fur and stuff on here. <laughs> Hills Science Diet. This is uh, sensitive stomach and skin. And this is wild caught Alaska Pollock. If they don't end up loving this, then uh, I don't know. We'll look at raw feeding or something like that. Yeah, he's a happy boy. He's a happy boy. And where's Sam? Is she in her new bed? She sure is. Seems to be enjoying it. Aren't you? So I had my yearly review with my boss yesterday, and uh, I really genuinely have a, I have a really good boss. Uh, and I'm like, I, I said this before, but I am really the same person at work that I am here on YouTube, um, that I am in real life, right? Like, uh, so it's not like my boss gets like a cleaned up version of me. <laughs> and uh, no, he's, he's one of those guys that like, he's the same, he's got the same just get it done attitude right like it's interesting i got called out the other day for uh my potty mouth and uh and i say uh bad words no i swear like that's just that's how i speak that's who i am and interestingly my boss is uh just the exact same way like exact same, if not not a little uh pottier of a mouth right like and i love that i, I it's just like no no sugar coating no nonsense no bs right and, and uh, i like this guy uh, and but we were talking and he knows, he knows that I live in an RV. He, he understands, um, you know, for the most part, why, right? Like he, he, and he doesn't care. He doesn't mind. It's, it's one of those things, you know? And, and uh, I appreciate that. He also is, um, we have a lot in common politically and all that too. Now, yesterday's conversation was about the yearly review. Now, I don't know about you guys, but generally, I, I'm not that I've ever gotten bad, you know, bad grades. When it comes to grading time, like you want it to go well. And he made a great point. He goes, look, if you don't know how you're doing with me, I'm a terrible manager. And I'm like, it's a great point. Cause he goes, he goes, if I had a problem in advance, I shouldn't be bringing this up once a year on your review, right? Like you should know and be able to correct it. That's not fair to you. And it makes you a pretty terrible manager. If that's, you know, <laughs> if that's the case, right? Appreciate that. Very, very common sense kind of guy. And we got to talk and he goes, look, my job is to get you to where you want to go uh, in your career. Your job is to figure out where you want to go. And I'm thinking about it, I'm like, that, that was very kind. But I, uh, I mentioned this the other day. I'm like, no, I really enjoy my work. You know, I, I do. I, I enjoy the position that I'm in because I can affect uh, every device in the company if I need to. And uh, But I also, you know, I, I don't just do that. I work with... Uh, you know, end users. I work with, you know, folks uh, who actually use the computers and I, I help um, really from, uh, you know, what we order 
to how, when it's delivered, like how is that user experience, right? Those are big things for me, all encompassing in that job. I just like the people aspect of it. I think, I think that's a big thing. And a lot of system administrators don't have to work with um, end users. And I don't necessarily have to, but I like to. But so I explain, like, I think this is within my wheelhouse, right? I think this is really where I enjoy being. And, and he goes, absolutely. Like, he goes, if you're, if you're happy where you are, like, don't worry about it. Like, because you know, you kind of want to tread lightly. Like, I don't want to seem like an underachiever, if you know what I mean? <laughs> but he didn't take it that way. And I, re oh, God, I respect that so much. Uh, and it's such a relief. The other day I'd also had to explain to him, like I took a half day off work, like, Hey, you know, I've got a couple like medical appointments, you know, and I'm in the ER and I don't know, worry about it. Like, he's one of those people that's like, look, life is more important than work. And you don't get that from almost any company, genuinely, uh, let alone any boss. And I said, look, I'm, I'm happy where I am. I think I've got a really good work-life balance and I like what I do. And I think that's, that's something that's important to me. That's something I value. He goes, I'm with you. At my age, and he's the director, um, he goes, at my age, like, that's where I am too. Like, I don't want to move up. Like, I, don't, I just don't, I just don't want to. You know, if, if you're younger, you know, a lot of folks, they want to move up. But he goes, there's nothing wrong with that. He's like, you start to realize, uh, you know, after certain things that, like, a lot of things that we, you care about, we stress about, they just don't matter. And, uh, and he goes, yeah, you got to pay the bills, but honestly... There's, there's a point where even more, you know, double the salary isn't going to make you happier, right? It's going to make you less happy and then it's not worth it. You know, but there was one thing that he said that really stuck with me. He goes, I'm, a, I'm at a particular point in my life where I realize I have more days behind me than I do ahead of me. And he goes, and once I realized that, he goes, I really, it was a great perspective shift. And he goes, you stop giving a shit about a lot of things. And he goes most things just don't matter honestly he goes now nah, i just tell people what i feel <laughs> he goes, I, just, he goes uh, I don't have to try to impress anybody right if, if i do a good good job there we go you know but it was this 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 mentality that, that i have more days behind me than i do ahead of me and i just want to live a good life wow like that sat with me and i'm like Oh my God. You know, and of course during the conversation, you try to, you try to keep it kind of light and, uh, you know, like I do, but wow, that was, that was pretty, that was pretty, pretty great. And he had, uh, you know, he had some genetic heart issues as well. And, um, and so he also understood, he's like, yeah, I've sat on that gurney, you know, it's just the same. And you're standing there and you're like, did I do everything I wanted to do? Cause I might not make it out of this. And, uh, he, so he completely understood and, and, um, uh, what a great guy. I, but I think that's so interesting because as I'm sitting there and days behind me, more days behind me than are ahead of me. And I realize like a lot of people spend so long trying to avoid that fact, you know, they don't want to accept that fact. Uh, but I, and I think it's less about the days and more what we do with them. Right. Uh, I, that, that really hit home, you know? And, um, and realistically, it's not just about your, your, your age. And I think it's just, I think it's about making the days ahead as, as great as they possibly can be, you know, and because it's easy to get caught up in the cycle of like, Oh, uh, I need to do just be happy, be at peace, do what you need to do. Live, live each day the way that you should be, you know, not, not, not stressed about things that don't matter. I think living your life and a lot of folks they they put off rving and living you know living tiny until retirement because uh, what i mean how many people work 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 to save for retirement hating their life up until that point and and, and don't even get to enjoy their retirement health reasons or they pass too early or stock market crash who knows right and uh it, it, we all drive you know car crashes happen accidents happen and who knows about your health right you could be in perfect health one sickness it's terrible. It's like, but it, but if you live a good life, I think if you have no regrets, there's nothing more to say. You've lived a good life, and that's what matters. I think. Uh, that was a good conversation.